Sure crab. Very orange. Let it simmer. <laughs> that crab nearly got. Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Joe PK on a very windy, wet day foraging the creek. At an area today I always wanted to forage, there's this raised stone right in the middle of the creek here, and it banks quite quickly down. Let's see if there's any scallops in amongst it. Whoa! Found a bit, uh, this is the biggest shore crab I've ever seen. That is a giant shore crab. Look at the claws on that. Alex, biggest shore crab I've ever seen. Oh, he looks a good size. Perfect. Just inside the weed. So many big shore crabs in the weed here. Yeah. We're going to use these to make our beast. So aggressive yeah. though, you have to be pretty careful. Come down from behind them, pin them down, and then grab. Oh look, fish. Whoa! These crabs are huge. Get down. Find these crabs, all you have to do, pull the weed back, and there they are. It's kind of buried in the mud, just like the scallops, but they are like giant mud crabs here. Come here. But this is exactly what we want today, because we want to make a crab beast and just throw in anything else we find, like scallops, cockles, to kind of fill it out a bit. Last time I was foraging for these scallops, they were seriously hard to see and hard to come by. That has not bothered to hide itself at all. <laughs> Delicious. I walked straight past it earlier, I was just going back to the bucket. Not complaining with that. So like Alex has found a couple of cockles. Let's keep going. Hmm. Look at this. Put my bucket down there a minute. I don't know if you can see this little channel here runs along. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna walk up through that channel. See if there's any scallops. Fingers crossed. There might be some. cockles here. See this little thing on top of it on the side? It's called a chiton. That's a mega cockle. Nice. Two cockles. Just two cockles? <laughs> yeah. I found three big cockles right in this pool. Yeah, nice. Is that one alive? Look at that. Oh it is. Looks, looks a bit beaten up, but I think it is. Yeah. We've got cockles, a scallop, I've got some massive shore crabs. But I have just found what looks like it might be a razor clam burrow. You can see that. So Alex has just gone to get the salt. We're going to see if we can salt that clam out, if it is a razor clam. Can you see it? Look, 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 look. Oh, yeah. Oh, he just discarded that bit. I think, he, can you grab him? Just give him a tiny bit more because I don't want to break the foot off. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Look at that. That's funny he didn't come up straight away, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe it didn't get down to him. It's an amazing thing. Everything that needs to survive is just microscopic in the water column. That is bizarre, isn't it? Yeah. 
What's this bit then? I think that must be sacrificial. It comes off so easy, doesn't it? There we go, look. He's merging. There you go, you got him. Sorted out a few of these razors, but they're very, very small. So we're just going to release these, put them back in the mud. Notice there's another channel just here. It's interesting. Let's have a little look along this channel. What you got here, so, Jake? Well, switch to wetsuit because we're looking in these holes for crabs on these little channels. We're finding these holes and they're full of crabs, but it's not. It's a little bit. I'm a bit nervous about <laughs> getting pinched. They go well in, well back. What is he? Good, good grab. Or it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is he just a standard shore crab? Yeah, yeah, standard shore crab. They, that is interesting. They seem to, whoa! They seem to live right back in these holes. There's some more holes up here, should we try them? Absolutely. The goo is so far back. Oh yeah. Not massive, are they? You'd think they'd be bigger. Yeah, they probably are some big ones. These crabs are exceptionally mobile and they're just all of a sudden all over the kitchen. This one is in the pepper, in the cayenne pepper. Come back. This one is in the brandy. Wow. Yeah. They're a good size, aren't they? Some of the monsters. Ooh. But that is a big shore crab and that's not even the biggest. Oh, big they were all hiding in the weed. We, we weren't looking under rocks today. We were getting them out of the weed, weren't we, sir? We were. We're going to boil these poor crabs, uh, chop them up, add them to the vegetables, then we're going to add a fish stock with some uh, tomatoes, white wine, brandy, a bit of paprika, and I can't wait to get eating. Quite ravenous now after a, a long afternoon's foraging. These, hoping they're going to be quite tasty. Look at the colour as they come out. So these crabs are um, either called shore crabs or green crabs, as sometimes known as. And they're actually an invasive species on the east coast of America. So American friends may have eaten these because they're a bit of a pest. But this is my first time eating them, so I'm intrigued to know what they're going to taste like. They certainly turn very orange. Gonna let these cook for five minutes and then we're gonna add some brandy and let it simmer. Beast has been simmering away for half an hour. It smells pretty good. I'm gonna give it a quick, you know, it's quick first taste. What are you doing, Daddy? I'm just trying my soup. That's delicious. Let me taste the crab. It's really good. But I'm going to strain it now, the crab shell's going to be left behind and then we'll just finish it in this saucepan with some cream and some lemon juice Daddy, and then it's ready to serve. Daddy, cuddles on the sofa with some soup, yeah? Decent amount of meat inside these um, shore crab claws, actually, and it tastes really good. Like a daddy, you cook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice. 
full of flavour, isn't it? I think so. Thank you, Chloe. Okay. They cooked it for me. Chloe, would you like a spoon? Because I think you'll really like this. Yeah. Do you like to try some? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay, Daddy. There you go. Still very young cook. Thank you very much, Chloe. There you go. Sweet. Okay, Daddy. That one. There you go. Delicious. Okay. Someone's stealing my soup. You really have your bib on, I think, Chloe. What's it like? Do you like it? Licking the soup. Look at him. This is man at his most refined. It's bound to be.